Today on Toy Shoes, an old 80s cartoon classic gets the NECA treatment. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shoes here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys. And today, we're totally checking out their brand new Defenders of the Earth cartoon series. All three figures, the Phantom, Flash Gordon, and of course, Ming, the Merciless. So merciless. That old Ming, but the artwork, the box, the packaging, top notch. Everything you always expect with Negatoys. Very evocative of the old Galoob Defenders of the Earth toy series, even making the NECA logo look like the Galoob logo. I thought that's always a nice touch. They do that with Turtles too, like with the FHE and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, the boxes, the characters, everything pops on these. The back of the packaging are. Really nicely designed as well. You got the Phantom, the Ghost Who Walks, Billy Zane right there, and then Flash Gordon, and everyone involved. And then you get to see the cross sell on the back. You got Flash, Phantom, and Ming the Merciless. Then you also get to see Lothar and Mandrake the Magician, which NECA has shown off not only at Toy Fair, but also said that they are coming later down the line. Who knows who else they could do from that series and then the sides of the packaging is cool you got the numbered one two three so if you want to keep the boxes you can do that if you weren't aware in the 1980s there was a cartoon show teaming up the old pulp superheroes back in the day the phantom flash gordon those types of heroes and they go up against ming and it's it, the cartoon is uh, i don't think it's held up very well i mean it's nostalgic in that sense it's not something i watched when i was a kid much later never saw the cartoon on tv never even really heard about it until much much later on but yeah seeing these on display at toy fair in 2020 that was very cool to see and of course i was like oh yeah so sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new NECA Toys, Defenders of the Earth, the Phantom, Flash Gordon, and Ming the Merciless, also known as Ming the Fashionable. So we'll start off with the Ghost Who Walks, the good old Phantom first, the one that I was really looking forward to out of all three. Big fan of the Phantom, but heck, I have the old glue version of this. I was trying to find him before I did this, but... For what he is and how he's painted, he looks great. We'll talk about the articulation in just a few, and of course, all the things that I've heard regarding these Defenders of the Earth figures. I didn't heat anything up here. Didn't have any problems. The articulation is extremely stiff, and you're going to get some paint rub, and I'll show you that in just a second as well. But he does have double-jointed elbows. He's got spinning wrists. You can see how the wrists to the paint, the purple, these don't want to crunch at all. Very minute in the crunch. He will spin at the waist and it works well. Be careful in the legs. When I was doing this, I didn't have any problems, but you can see it's that typical sort of neck articulation where, yeah, the two legs can go up if you're moving just one go easy on it he will swivel at the boot cuff nice hidden articulation there and of course nice ankle rotation pivots toe articulation so for what they are they're not super super articulated but yeah they definitely do work nicely now he comes with this little zuffy accessory it's a little alien animal sidekick from the television show yeah he just kind of finds him stows away in a ship Comes with a little crystal and it's molded into his hand. And this little guy, as small as he is, yeah, he's got articulation as well. His head will spin. The arms are on a ball. They'll go up and down. This is the one figure out of them all that does not suffer any paint problems. I will tell you that. His legs will kick out and he has a rotating tail, which does help him stand up so definitely put it down and you have no problem standing him the accessories for these are really where these figures shine right down to the peg hole in the phantom's hand insert his little ring blast effect that's a lot of fun it also comes with a blaster and a trigger holding hand with the ring sculpted on and you can insert them you know have him blast in a ring it's a lot of fun. You know, you can have them blast and ming, what have you. But yeah, it really helps these figures come to life on the shelf, especially with the ray gun. That's really cool. You get a short blast and you get the long blast. 
The one thing that I will point out, though, is that every hand is on the same side, so you can't have him blasting and shooting his ring at the same time. That's kind of a bummer, I will say. That's like the one big problem that I have. I wish he just came with an extra hand to hold effects and... Yeah, you could be guns a-blazing, whatever. Here's where the certain problems that I have arise. The paint, because they paint the hands, when you swap them out, you're going to rub into the peg porthole. And yeah, it's going to crack the paint. And I don't care for it. I don't like it. But this is you going into it knowing if you buy these, yeah, you're probably going to have the same thing as I do. But he can hold Zuffy. That's cool. Good old... <laughs> Suffy, that thing. Flash Gordon, right? Let's talk about him. Gorgeous colors on him. Reds, golds, nice blonde hair. He's a really nicely done figure, and I think that he's painted well, especially in the face. Brings out the features, gives more depth than the cartoon had. Again, same body type, so same exact articulation, Really buff side of mold. Everything is swapped out so he doesn't have the Phantom's belt. He has the Flash Gordon belt and he has little additives to make the costume. Go easy on the legs. I'll tell you this. I had a little bit more luck in movement with the Flash Gordon figure over the Phantom figure. I don't like how you can see the joints are different colors. McFarlane kind of did that recently. And like the Phantom, yes, he will suffer from that paint chippage. So... It won't affect the actual hand, that part you can see, but it'll hit the peg, most definitely. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So once you get, and they're extremely snug, you can see all that paint that just came off, right? Once it's out, it's pulled all that. Here's a fresh hand, one that I have not pegged in before. Done, he's holding the gun, right? Looks good. And then when you go to move it out, yeah, you can see it's definitely taken off some paint. I've run into that with Palisades toys. I've run into that with McFarlane. Marvel Legends, NECA toys, it's just a thing. You have to either be okay with it or just don't use the hands or don't buy the figures. That's another thing too. His laser sword, that's really cool. I think that's a great accessory for Flash Gordon. And this is painted nice, nice translucent yellow blade as well. The blaster, same exact one as the Phantom, painted nice, nice really kind of metallic blue with like a black dry brush to it. He does have the same exact blaster effects and he has a short range blaster effect and both of those do fit on the gun. And as you can see that they simply peg in right there on the tip of the gun and you can get him in all kinds of Flash Gordon poses. I had no problems with this, no breakage, no nothing like that. It's really just in the paint chippage, that's the thing. That does bug me, but I love seeing this. I like have a blaster battle with Ming or have him have the sword. See how you can have the blaster and the sword in both hands doing stuff? That's what the Phantom lacks, unfortunately. But yeah, I think Flash Gordon, color-wise, accessories-wise, the look, they nailed it. Ming the Merciless. Let's talk about this guy. Because while I really wanted the Phantom, and I was like, okay, I want Flash Gordon, Ming was... Ming. But hey, guess what? This is the best figure of the three. Hands down. From the paint to the sculpt to the wired cape, the hands, everything. This guy rocks and he suffers the least from really any type of paint problems. The chippage, mind you. Comes with a gorgeous sword as well as a gorgeous staff. Purples, golds, reds, and blacks. That's the name of the game for the color scheme for Ming. So everything he's personalized at all, right? Same exact blaster. He's got the nice hand with the ring on it. Holds it well. I find that if you just kind of put them in the hands before you swap them, same thing. Long range blast, short range blast for the weapon. I don't mind them reusing stuff because in a show that's all about sci-fi and magic and all that kind of stuff, it's totally fine. It looks good. The staff is gorgeous. Painted gorgeous. Purples, blacks, golds, the cape. That's fantastic as well. Wired cape, you can make it all billowy. You can make it so that it's flowing in the wind, right? He just caught an updraft. He's looking all fly. He's doing the Nicolas Cage thing from Face Off, right? And it's really well stitched. Nice cloth goods. So really no complaints other than a few minor paint chippage, let's say when you're transferring the hand, 
but by no means is it the same as the Phantom or Flash Gordon with that flesh color. But from the blaster to his staff to the billowing cape, Ming, if you had a choice between all three, definitely go for Ming. Now, these are based on the body type that NECA put out a couple, a year and a half ago with STCC and New York Comic Con with the DC versus Aliens versus Predators. And I really wanted these Defenders figures because of this, because I think they look really cool stacked up with the other DC heroes. There's some reuse here and there, which is totally fine. So if they didn't continue with the DC line, at least they're continuing with other figures. And I can see them using it for other properties as well. Heck, maybe even gargoyles, right? We get some Macbeth action going on. But you can see the reuse, especially, let's say, in the Green Lantern, Phantom, things like that. But still, the Superman that was in this line is still my favorite Superman. That, with the eye blast, every Superman needs an eye blast. So... That's really going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Defenders of the Earth figures, Ming the Merciless, Flash Gordon, and the Phantom. And thank you again to NECA Toys for sending this out to give you guys this fresh look. I'll tell you this, based on what I've shown you with paint, that's the main issue that I had. I have seen people have problems with the legs breaking off. I think that was the main one. Heat your figures up. If you don't want to, then yes, you run the risk of breaking them. Is that an excuse? No, but would you rather have them break or would you rather have them be fine on your shelf? I don't pose my figures into huge action battle things. I like to put them right on the shelf and have them look epic right then and there. I swap out the accessories from time to time. Really think about it. If this is the kind of figure that you want, you want it to be super articulated, it's probably going to be a pass. But for those of you that are into Defenders of the Earth or just the fact that it's a cool looking figure, especially Ming... Well, then I think that you'll definitely be happy with them. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. And let's talk everything Defenders of the Earth. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. Most importantly, remember, I'm still confused on the first episode where Flash Gordon's wife just dies. And he's like, oh, no, she died. And it's like, no emotion. Nothing. <laughs> Not even by the sun. It's a weird cartoon. Watch it. It's on YouTube. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.